Hello everybody, this is Mike History 2 and I'm making another country video, so today I'll be talking about the history of the Marshall Islands. Now I'm sure a lot of you don't know where that is, but I'm sure a lot of you do, because last time I made the mistake of assuming you didn't know these really unknown obscure places, but actually a lot of you guys do. So, without further ado, let's begin. History of the Marshall Islands begins in 1526, when Castilian explorer Alonso de Salazar on the Santa Maria de la Victoria Part of the Loaiza expedition led by Garcia Jofre de Loaiza to colonize the Maluku Islands, spotted an island that he called San Bartolomé on August 21st, becoming the first European to see the Marshall Islands. In 1788, John Marshall and Thomas Gilbert visited the islands, becoming the first British explorers to see the islands. In 1820, the Russian explorer Adam Johann von Krusenstern, and in 1824, the French explorer Louis Isidore du Perry, who were both circumnavigating the world, named the islands the Marshall Islands in John Marshall's honor. In 1857, two Christian missionaries settled on Ebon. In 1874, Spain conquered the islands as part of the Spanish East Indies. However, that didn't stop Prussia from buying it on October 13, 1885, as part of Prussian New Guinea when Fritz Roger arrived in Jaluit on the SMS Nautilus. A Prussian trade company, the Jaluit Gesellschaft, took over. In 1899, during the Prussian-Spanish Treaty, the Marshall Islands officially became a part of Prussia. In 1914, World War I broke out and Japan conquered the Marshall Islands by taking Inewatak Atoll and Jaluit Atoll. In 1918, when the war ended, the Marshall Islands became part of the South Pacific Mandate under Japan, which was created in 1920 by the League of Nations. In 1939, World War II broke out. In 1944, during the Gilbert and Marshall Islands campaign, the United States conquered the islands, apart from Wotje, Maluelap, and Jaluit. In 1945, the war ended with the United States keeping the Marshall Islands as part of the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands, which was created by the United Nations in 1947 under the United States. Between 1946 and 1958, the United States nuked the Marshall Islands 67 times, making it the most contaminated place on the planet. In 1979, the Marshall Islands became independent. In 1986, the Compact of Free Association was signed with the United States, with the United States guaranteeing the Marshall Islands independence, but with the Marshall Islands allowing the United States to build military bases. 2003, there were 13, sorry, there was a drought in the northern Marshall Islands. Sadly, through global warming, though, uh, sadly, global warming is causing rising sea levels, and this might cause the entire country to go underwater. So yeah, this video is very important. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This was another short video, and I'll see you tomorrow.